In this video I'm going to show you how to set up a 2009 Mac Mini to run Rune Server 1.8 and Otter Vanna as multiple ways to play high-res audio to a DAC, all for under $300. Here's what we'll need. A used 2009 Mac Mini, usually about $110 used. An external 1TB USB hard drive, about $45. Links in the description below. And the DAC of your choice. I recommend a Shit Modi 3, and they're about $129 US, and they include a USB micro cable to connect the computer to the DAC. Personally, I'm using this $173 AudioQuest Cinnamon. It's a USB A to B USB cable. But any USB A to B cable will suffice, like a $10 one from Amazon. Ideally, you're used. 2009 Mac Mini will come with Snow Leopard or Lion 10.7 in an ideal scenario. Then all you have to do is download the Lion updater from this link here. If you don't have the operating system installed and it's a blank canvas to work with, you'll need to install macOS Lion by first making a bootable USB stick. Links for a valid Lion installer can be found on our Patreon page. So if your Mac Mini doesn't have an operating system installed on it, you'll need to make a bootable USB Lion installer. And here's the procedure. Hold down the option key to boot on boot, select the USB installer you just made from this procedure, and install Lion. In Disk Utility, make a second partition, Mac OS X Extend It. Bonus if you have a High Sierra installer or later, and you can make this second partition APFS. Next, download the Mac OS Catalina Patcher tool for unsupported Macs at DOS Dude's site. Grab a copy of Catalina 10.15.6 from Apple here. Use the Mac OS Catalina Patcher tool to create a bootable USB installer. Once again, hold the option key on boot and select the USB Catalina installer you just made. Install Catalina on the second partition you created. This process will convert the file system to APFS. Before rebooting after installation with the USB stick, I strongly recommend setting the startup disk to the Catalina partition. If you forget, you can still hold the option key on boot and manually select the Catalina partition. Once you've booted Catalina for the first time, go to System Preferences and use the APFS boot icon to set the APFS boot partition. This is an extra utility that comes with DOS Dude's Catalina Patcher and allows setting the boot partition to an APFS partition. The Startup Disk utility does not allow for selecting an APFS partition on this unsupported Mac Mini. All that remains is to install Rune Server, Autorvana, and setting the audio outputs. 
Installing Roon Server is as simple as downloading the software from Room, mounting the disk image, and copying the application to your Applications folder. Now just double click it to launch it and select Startup on Boot option. Here, I'm using the desktop client to configure Rune. The desktop client has a few more options, like being able to select artwork options. The main thing you need to set up in the Rune settings is the location of the music. In my case, I'm using a 1TB SanDisk USB 3.2 stick. I select the 1TB USB in the music location. The other important thing to configure in Rune is the backup. Here we set the backup location and execute a backup with the desktop client. You can also set up Rune using the iPhone or iPad. Setting the storage location, configuring the Rune backup, your title, Kobuz accounts, all can be easily done on the iPhone, just as easily. Even Rune output configuration is easily accomplished on the iPhone. Okay, so the Rune server is running. Then we select a song on the iPhone and play. It's just that easy. You can see it playing here on my deck. With Autovana, you can connect to a dock via Toslink or via USB if your dock has that option. Here I'm using a mini Toslink adapter on the end of my Toslink cable. This inserts into the headphone jack of the 2009 Mac Mini. Did you know the Mac Mini had an optical output? Now you know. Open the MIDI interface app in Utilities and verify it is set to the digital output. I'm using Ottervana 3540 as it's my favorite legacy version before Ottervana went to a subscription model. We add a monitor folder, in this case it's my 1TB USB stick, and let Ottervana sync to the music at this location. The very first time it syncs it will take a while, but subsequent syncs are much faster. Once sync is complete, I set the output audio selection to the built-in output on the Mac Mini. Then I import my playlists. I'm selecting the playlist edition to test the audio playback. 
You can see, even on USB, the track buffers quite quickly. Now I'm launching the Autovan remote app on the iPhone. I select this Catalina Mini in the app and choose the playlist. As you can see, I have remote control of music playback to my DAC using the iPhone. I hope you can like this tutorial and please subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.